Hello everyone, welcome to Literophile. Today let's take a quick glimpse at a series of miscellaneous multiple choice questions that can be counted as a revision towards the upcoming UGC NET JRF English exam. Which three-act play by Shaw exposes how the capitalist system perverts and corrupts human behavior and relationships? It deals with slum landlordism and has characters like Harry Trench and Blanche Sartorius. Option A, Widower's House. Option B, Mrs. Warren's Profession. Option C, Arms and the Man. And Option D, Candida. And the answer to this question is Option A, Widower's House. Now, Widower's House is a part of Shaw's group of plays Unpleasant. It was the first play by Shaw to be staged in the year 1892. A young doctor named Harry Trench falls in love with Blanche Sartorius, whose father Sartorius is revealed to have gained his wealth by exploiting the poor as a slum landlord. So it's a three-act play by Shaw. It exposes how the capitalist system perverts and corrupts human behavior and relationships. And the central theme is slum landlordism. Major characters are Harry Trench and Blanche Sartorius. Next question. Lucy Snow is the narrator of which novel by Charlotte Bronte? Lucy Snow is the narrator of which novel by Charlotte Bronte? The options are option A, The Professor, option B, Villette, option C, Jane Eyre, option D, Shirley, A Tale. And the answer to this question is option B, Villette. Now, Willet is an 1853 novel written by the English author Charlotte Bronte, one among the Bronte sisters. After an unspecified family disaster, the protagonist Lucy Snow travels from her native England to the fictional French-speaking city of Willet to teach at a girls' school where she is drawn into a series of adventure as well as romance. Next question. Who wrote the collection Old Age Echoes, which appeared posthumously? Option A, Emerson. Option B, Melville. Option C, Twain. Option D, none of these. And the answer to this question is option D, none of these. So Old Age Echoes is a poetry collection written by Walt Whitman. Not Emerson, not Melville, not Twain, but Walt Whitman. It was posthumously published. Now this contained a group of 13 poems out of which 11 poems were previously unpublished, totally unpub unpublished and two poems were published but it was in it came uh, as a part of a New York Daily Graphic. So the answer to this question is option D none of these. So the collection Old Age Echoes was a poetry collection published by Walt Whitman and it had appeared posthumously. Moving on to the next question. Who wrote the part novel, part play, The Requiem for a Nun? Option A, Arthur Miller. Option B, Edgar Allan Poe. Option C, Saul Bellow. Option D, William Faulkner. And the answer to this question is William Faulkner. So, Requiem for a Nun is a work of fiction written by William Faulkner. It's a sequel to Faulkner's early novel, Sanctuary. Now, it is in this novel that he introduces the characters of Temple Drake, her friend Gowen Stevens, and Gowen's uncle, Gavin Stevens. The events in Requiem are set in uh, Faulkner's fictional Yoknapatawa County and Jackson, Mississippi, eight years after the events that occur in his previous work, Sanctuary. Now, this particular work, Requiem for a Nun, it experiments with the narrative technique. That is, the book is part novel and part play. The main narrative, which is presented in dramatic form, is interspersed with prose sections providing the history of the fictional Yoknapatawa County. Each prose section focuses on a specific institution, be it the courthouse, the state house, the jailhouse, respectively, 
that serves as the setting for the following dramatic section of the story so the part novel part play requiem for a nun is written by william faulkner moving on to the next question the novel death comes for the archbishop recounts the story of french catholic missionaries in the southwestern united states who wrote it option a laura ingalls wilder option b louisa may alcott option c villa cather option d lucy maud montgomery and the answer to this question is villa cather Death Comes for the Archbishop is a 1927 novel by American author Willa Cather. It concerns the attempts of a Catholic bishop and a priest to establish a diocese in New Mexico territory. The entire narrative is based on two historical figures of the late 19th century, Jean Baptiste Lamy and Joseph Projectus Mashebeuf. It is the stylized retelling of their lives serving as Roman Catholic clergy in New Mexico. The narrative has frequent digressions either in terms of stories related to the pair or through their recollections. The narration is given in third person omniscient style and Cather includes many fictionalized accounts of actual historical figures including Kit Carson, Manuel Antonio Shaves and Pope Gregory the 16th. So Death Comes for the Archbishop is a novel written by Willa Cather. With that we come to the end of the session thank you